What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chad, and I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but today I'm coming to you with an unboxing video. And this is over the Skagen Connected Hybrid Smartwatch. And yeah, let's get into the video. So as you see, the outside is this small little box. It comes with this little sleeve. You take off the sleeve, and you have the box. The box says Skagen. It opens up like you're gonna marry somebody. Will you marry me? Anyways, so inside the box, as you see, are some pamphlets. You have the Skagen Connected Smartwatch Guide, and then you have like a general instruction booklet. You know, stuff usually comes with general instructions. And we don't read instructions around here, so we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. I'm gonna look at the watch in a second. But right now, I'm gonna read the um, instructions and see like what exactly I need to do to get this, set, this watch set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the watch out. And I'm gonna cut it real quick. And I'm gonna be real close up so you all can see what the watch looks like, okay? So this is the watch. As you all can see, it looks very modern, sleek. Got your little buttons on the side as usual. No hearsay, hearsay. Um, once again, it is Skagen. Smartwatch, whatever. It's the back, genuine leather. Don't know if I said that, well I didn't, I don't remember that. Genuine leather, Skagen, again. Pretty, pretty nice material. It feels like some nice sturdy leather, so. Yeah. Okay, now I'm back. So I have my watch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put all the rest of this stuff back in the box. Um, and I'm going to read some of the instructions and see how you get it set up. Okay, so it says step one, get started. On your phone, download and install the Skating Connected app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Follow instructions to set up an account. So I knew ahead of time before I even unboxed this that I was most likely going to need the app. So I went ahead and downloaded the app. All right, so this is what the app first looks like when you open it up. So of course I can't log in because I don't have an account, so we're gonna sign up. I'm gonna use my Google account. I'm just making sure that I show you all every single step here so you all know ahead of time what exactly is going on. I'm gonna blur out my password so you all can't see that. It's no real well. I mean, even if I didn't blur it out, my email has nothing in it. It's just an email. It's not like I have secret files stored away or nothing like that. So, it looks like they have all this already. Birthday. I was born August 1st. You know, real people, you know, born the first of the month. That's how you know you're special. Um, send me data usage to improve your experience, I guess so. Create an account. Email opt-in, would you like to receive occasional emails including promotional? No thanks, I don't want any promotions. What kind of device do you have? Hybrid smartwatch, hi chat, pair your device. So, I guess now I can go ahead and pair the device along with this so we can see it all together. Set up your hybrid smartwatch next to your phone. Press and hold the middle button of your watch until it vibrates three times and the hands move indicating it is ready to pair. Start pairing. Let me turn on my Bluetooth. Let me wait for my Bluetooth to turn on. Apple will be struggling with the Bluetooth coming on. Come on. When it shows up here, I guess that's when my Bluetooth is officially on. Thank you. Start pairing. So I'm going to hold it down. As you all saw, the hand started moving. There it is. See it? That's kind of cool. I didn't think it would do that. So there's my watch. Click my watch. So I guess this is a Bluetooth pairing device. I didn't even, I don't know why I thought it was some other type of smartwatch. I thought it was like an Apple smartwatch or something like that. But obviously, I'm the one that's whose blood alcohol content is above 0.8. So I need to update my firmware. My device is being updated. Bluetooth pairing request, pair. 
complete calibrate your device use the buttons below to move the hour hand on your watch until it matches the one in the picture wait what oh that is so cool look I'm controlling it on the phone so you see that so when I'm moving it I move it get it right on the 100 go ahead and move no all right so the first one's on 100 The next one's on 100. Calibration complete. The time of your watch will automatically match your phone. And it does. My phone says at the top, 11.57. On the watch, seems to be 11.57. So that's okay. Calibration is gonna be complete. Set up your units. Height. Weight, pounds, distance, miles, yeah, that's true. Set your height. 5'8". Set your weight. Recently, I weighed myself, and I weigh less than I did in high school when I'm in college, I guess because I'm starving and I'm not getting fed. Set your step goal. 10,000 seems reasonable. Yeah, 10,000. Set your sleep goal. I don't get any sleep, so. I'm gonna do seven hours of sleep. Connect to other apps. You can connect to all these different apps, but we're not gonna do that. My device already use. Activity tracking, your watch can keep track of how many steps you take. You can even set a daily goal to stay motivated. Sleep tracking, wear your watch to bed and see what your night look like, including light and restful sleep. Goal tracking, track towards a preset or custom goal of your choice. Get started, customize device, enable features and set them to work, notifications, all right. So let's go to device features. There's a lot of customization that comes into this um, this watch, as you all can see. So I'm gonna try to go through each little area pretty quickly and let you all see what exactly is going on here. Um, okay, here we go. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to notifications. My apps, get your update, how it works. Pick your six people. So I guess when you when you set up right here, it says select contact my people. So let's say I set up my mom. Whenever my mom texts me on my phone, my watch would vibrate or I will be notified on my watch what happened. So this is today, this is my miles run. I burned no calories today. Last night, I didn't wear it last night. A goal, customize your device. It has so many things. You can set music. Let's see if we can set some music. I don't really see any music being set here, but. Well, I don't even know if you can. Oh, so you can customize the top button on your phone, on your watch. You can customize this to be like the top button for your music to go up, the bottom button for your music to go down, middle button. You can assign the buttons to do different things. So I can assign one to be my calendar. I can assign one to be, you know, ring phone, take photo. Right? You can take photos with this watch. Ain't no way you can take, let me see. All right, let me see. So my phone camera's open. As you see, I have no hands on it. Let's flip the camera upside down. That's me. So let's see. I'm gonna take it so that way nobody knows I'm doing anything weird. Yo, that's dead ass cool. It really just took a whole photo for me while I had it out. That's cool. Um, let's go back to the app. Let's see what some of the other features do. So that one can take photos. Um, Let's see about the date. So we're gonna set this, and then I'm gonna press the button. 
So as you can see around the edge right here are those little numbers. Those are the dates for the month. So watch when I press the up button for the date. It goes to the date and today is the second. Yeah, so, um, so far this watch seems to be amazing. You can go into settings, edit your profile, connect more apps, vibration strength, everything like that. Woody woo and blah, 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 blah. And this is actually a pretty cool device. I'm actually really liking this. So on, it really is light. I mean, I didn't put it that tight around my wrist because I don't really like my stuff around my wrist that tight. But as you see, you can see the BVS diamonds, you know, dancing. You know, you feel me? BVS diamonds. Ooh, yeah. Nah, but for real, it's really comfortable on. Um, the leather is not irritating to the skin or anything like that. And the face is the only part that's kind of heavy about it. Besides that, and it's probably because it has a battery in it. But besides that, it's really lightweight. You know, looks modern, looks new, and you can wear it, you know, with your outfits. If you're wearing black, you're wearing gray. You're wearing anything, basically, you can wear this watch. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all what the watch looked like on. Um, and yeah. So if you all have liked this video and you like this watch and my unboxing of it, um, please be sure to leave a like rating. Um, all of my unboxing videos usually do really good. Um, I will, you know, come back and like leave in the uh, description or make another video, an update video maybe, um, telling about like if there are any problems with the watch or how much battery life it had. I will see how much battery life it had. Um, you do at the back have to change a battery. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. There is a battery on the back, so the battery may get low and you will have to change it. Um, the box doesn't come with another battery, at least to my knowledge. No, it doesn't. You only get one battery, and you probably have to just go buy you know, a watch battery for your next battery. Um, but like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like rating. And if this is your... Oh, no, no, no. This is your first time on my channel. Please be sure to subscribe below. Um, I haven't been uploading recently, but I'm gonna try to get back into the swing of things. You know, I've just been taking a break. I'm on summer vacation, doing my thing. Woo, -de -woo -de -woo. You know, whole nine yards. But it's been your boy Chad, and I'm out. Peace.